quickest way to cure your glazed brake problem is to take off your wheel and sand your rotor. Sand it all the way around on both sides. What you're trying to do is scrub away that shiny slick appearance from the surface of the rotor. Make sure as you're doing this that your vehicle is safely resting on jack stands and your emergency brake is on. If you know how to remove your brake calipers and bracket, it will make your job of sanding easier. Now I can easily see both sides of the rotor. The front side has that shiny, glazed appearance. The back is glazed too, but it's far from smooth and shiny like the front. Rust, pockmarks, and lateral indentations cover the back. This tells us that the calipers are providing uneven pressure and may need to be replaced. We also need to sand the brake pads and not just the rotors. The pads, especially if they're the metallic kind, have a problem with glazing. It could be that the driver is feathering the brakes too much or the caliper pin is stuck. Either way, the pads are barely skimming the surface, generating heat and friction and causing a polished glaze. Now, the manual says we can use sandpaper or emery cloth and that we remove the glaze using swirling motions. The grit of the sandpaper is not specified. I have used fine grit and coarse grit sandpaper in the past and either one works well. Here I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. The bigger question is, why are your brake pads skimming the rotor surface in the first place? In this case, it was stuck caliper pins. Notice I can't pull the pins straight out. I have to turn the pin from side to side as I pull. Notice also the lack of rust. The pin was stuck and yet the surface was clean and lubricated. The rust was behind the pin's rubber sleeve, which had to be removed. The whole wire brushed and filed. Now, this is how easily the pin should come out. This is the same caliper pin after the brakes had been overhauled. I can pull them out easily by hand. Thus, glazing stopped being a problem once the brakes were overhauled. The rotors wore evenly on both sides and the squeaking sound vanished. You can try sanding your brake pads and rotors and that may permanently fix your problem or eliminate the problem for a long time. Or you can install quality ceramic brake pads and that too might be a permanent fix. But it could be your brakes need to be replaced.